Hello, I'm Sherry Rose and welcome to this episode of A Word About with Sherry Rose. In this episode, I'll be saying a word about discipline. So children learn about their world by testing boundaries and they will naturally make mistakes and break rules along the way. So let's talk about how to handle misbehavior and promote good behavior in the first five years. So for our tiny babies and our one-year-olds, the main thing to do is to be setting limits. You want to use positive language for what you want them to do rather than telling them what you don't want them to do. If you tell them what you don't want them to do, then all they heard is that thing that you don't want them to do and they will continue to do it. So use positive language, for example, if the baby is trying to get out of his high chair, then make sure to say, let's sit while we are eating instead of don't stand up in your high chair. Um, no should be sort of a more rare uh, direction. So you would wanna save no for things like safety issues, like reaching for the knobs of the stove. For the latter of the first five years of life, for our toddlers and our preschoolers, you want to continue to set those limits. Um, children want those limits to be there, uh, so you want to make sure to be kind but firm about where those boundaries are. Make sure to give attention to your toddler or preschooler and model good behavior. And then when you see your child also participating in that desired good behavior. You want to catch them being good and thank them for their good behavior, whatever it is. And I would say to be specific as possible about what it is that you see that you're liking. And even uh, Dr. Harvey Karp, who is a wonderful um, expert on young children to look up and do more research on, um, he says that you should talk to, about what your child's good behavior is to others when your child can overhear you. And that will also help reinforce that this isn't just something that you say to your child that you want, but if you're saying it to others, you must really want that and others must also be equally impressed uh, with their good behavior and that may give them even more incentive to want to continue with that good behavior choice. Redirection would be the best uh, choice for when you need a child to stop a behavior, such as throwing toys, you want to redirect to uh, an activity that can help calm and uh, move their energy in a different direction. Um, and for those toddlers and preschoolers, you want to make sure to provide simple choices. So do you want to wear the black shirt or the blue shirt? Um, for like, what food do you want to eat? Do you want to eat the watermelon or the raspberries? Um, or even their choice of activity. Do you want to do some art inside or do you want to go out to the park? Um, so these simple choices where it doesn't matter to you uh, what choice they choose, either way it works for you, um, gives them a little sense of control of their world, which is really in the end what our toddlers and preschoolers are seeking. So overall, when it comes to discipline and uh, moving your child toward more pro-social behavior, I want you to be able to treat your children with respect. Make sure to play with your children, talk with your child when misbehavior arises about what they could do differently in the future, and make sure that their ideas are involved in that conversation so that it's not just you telling them what they should do next time, but them also coming up with ideas. And you may find that they come up with something that surprises you. Um, please do encourage your child to get back on their, that horse when they've failed at something and to do their best and knowing that their best will be good enough. Um, so really at the end of the day, this requires you to spend time with your children. So I hope that you enjoy spending that time with your children and that this little short episode helped you see another angle on discipline in your home. So if you did like this video, please do give me that thumbs up. If you have any feedback for me, please do comment below. I do read every comment and 
please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell to receive notifications when I post future episodes. See you next time.